Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brad, and it has been a minute since I've streamed, but we are back. And uh, always get that mic noise from the cord there. So we're trying out a mono black infect deck. I'll make sure this isn't taking up too much of the screen here. So we got a game going. Um, haven't played Magic in a while. I've been playing Overwatch quite a bit, and I dual booted on the Mac here. I've got all this stuff that I don't need to see. So, I wish I could make this larger. Funeral Charm, uh, yeah, so we're on point to get our Phyrexian Crusader out on turn three. Let's make sure, okay, it's so minus one. So we might be able to counteract his Goblin I wonder if we should change... Well, hang on to Funeral Charm, I think. To see what he drops next turn. And maybe do that as an instant on his turn. Slaughter Pact, which of course we're not in a position to do yet. So I think what our play is, is to uh, Funeral Charm whatever he drops this turn. And then Sign in Blood next turn. Followed by Frickson Crusader. So, oh, this does have protection from red. So this looks like it's going to be a fairly... Ah, man, he's going wide here. Um, funeral Charm. I think we make him discard. Yeah, let's go ahead and make him discard, I guess, at the end step. Okay, didn't realize I did. Okay, there. Uh, sorry, play this card. Yeah, so we're just trying to get, since we can't really get rid of his tokens that easily, let's see if we can just get him to toss something into the graveyard. Yeah, so that's, we, I think we saved ourselves some trouble there. If he makes his next land drop. And Sign and Blood is a sorcery, so we could go Slaughter Pact, or I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Inquisition of Kozilek. We could do that. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's try to just disrupt his hand here. So Mana Cost, three or less. I'm sure he's got something since he's going red deck wins here. Probably a lot of low casting costs. So what do we want to get rid of here? Haste. Other goblin, yeah, that's what we want to get rid of. Gob the goblin chieftain with the anthem effect. So that's pretty much it for us. Uh, we're just gonna have to take three on this turn. The we can safely drop the um, the Phyrexian Crusader and then followed up by another one, I believe. I don't think he's got any board wipes going on. And that'll be a good blocker too, so we can kind of get in, and then and then keep one up to block as well. So that protection from red is really going to seal the deal for us here, I think. Um, probably block his battle cry guy if he goes in with that. Um, I would assume that he's still going all in here. No attack. Interesting. Interesting. Drown and Sorrow, all creatures. Oh, we just dropped our guy, too. What we could do is... Let's see. Let's, let's just get in with the Phyrexian Crusader here. And drop another one. So we're committing to the board. I think I'm running one or two of Drown and Sorrow. I wish that thing had double strike. Like the, you know, I understand it's in fact. And that might be a little bit unfair. But, so we're looking at a couple turn clock for him here. 
two turns, I guess. Let's see if he tries to attack. And we could actually slaughter pact his... Now he'd still get the... Um... Yeah, so let's block. Um... So that's still going to take effect. Since that's on the stack, there's no point in slaughter pacting it, really. At this point. But we can just block it. Get rid of it. So next turn, I think we're going to have to go in with both, which is not going to be optimal. Whenever he comes... Oh, okay. Oh, he's going for it. Yikes. Let's see if we can... Tire player disc... Okay, so we go in... That could be four, five, six, seven, eight. That's still not enough for. I think we're gonna have to drown in sorrow. Well, let's let's get in first with our guys here. I got two more Frixie and Crusaders in the deck. This is not optimal, but we can't. And he's got no cards in hand. So let's see if we can get off the scry, if we can get back in there with another creature. Yep, let's go ahead and get that. Oh, no, okay, well that's not going to matter if he's got a lightning bolt or whatever. Um... Close game. So we definitely, uh, at this point, of course, we can't use Slaughter Pact. We could make him discard whatever he has in his hand and drop. Let's go ahead and do that. Make him discard. And we'll go ahead and drop this because it's flying. And so the we, we are running Rune Chanter. Pike or Rune Chanter's Pike in this, so that could really help us if we draw into that. I think this deck at the moment has a one of Rune Chanter's Pike. I'm not that that seems like the right amount. I think. Oh no. Okay, it doesn't have haste. We might want to slaughter pact this just to keep the board clear. Um. If it was kicked, creatures you control... Okay, he did kick it, so I think we're going to have to slaughter pack this. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah. It's my first time playing with slaughter pack, too, actually. Um, I got a two of in here. So that's going to get us on mana for next turn completely. But that's okay. We saved ourselves. Actually, yeah, that would have been lethal, so. Yep. Alright, okay, so we drew into a swamp. You know, not the biggest draw, but... Uh, Clock on here is a bit slow with this Plague Stinger. I think we're going to drop the Eaker Claw Mirror next turn when we get a chance. Hope not too much of his stuff has haste. I've got no lifelink going on here. Let's see if he burns this. Actually, no, he would just burn me instead. Just to end the game. I'm on the, on the edge of my seat here. What is this, two? Okay, so we can get him next turn, provided that he doesn't drop anything. Hopefully we can get into some removal on our next draw step. I'm hoping that nothing he has has haste on it. Um, 
I'm kind of, you know what, I, I've got all like the sword of Feast and Famine, War and Peace, and I, definitely Rune Chanter's Pike is, has a lot of synergy with this deck, so I think that is the right call. The, the Drown in Sorrow was a sideboard card for this deck, and this deck called for three Liliani of the Veil, and I'm not, you know, dropping that money. So that's why the Drown in Sorrows are here. So there's not, you know, I had to wipe my own board, but against this red deck, that's just the position that we're in. She's got two cards in hand. Nothing with haste. I think unless he's... Okay, create two tokens. So he's got a blocker for the mirror. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. We're dead to any burn he draws now. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's... That was a good game. First time playing this deck. Um... So, uh, for everybody on YouTube, we'll see you tomorrow, and uh, thank you all for watching, and be sure to hit subscribe and thumbs up.